how tough is this for someone like Coach Paul Maneri, who now he doesn't know who's returning, he doesn't know what roster spots are open or what's going to be available. It's always a super big challenge with those with all the college programs because, like you said, when the draft comes along, you expect to lose X, Y, and Z on your roster. Well, sometimes those kids get drafted, they don't get the money they want, they come back to school, that hurts you a little bit because now you got to scramble for scholarships because you've already committed five kids or six kids that are coming into your class. So you got to juggle that 11.7 scholarship. Now, not knowing if there's even going to be a draft, who's really going to leave, who's going to come back, how much scholarship am I going to have, it's really tough to try to juggle it. And I always feel for these guys because it's a revolving door. They think they're going to lose a guy and all of a sudden you get him and they think, well, this guy's not coming to class. He's, you know, he's, he's for sure going to sign a pro contract. He ends up showing up so there's so much to juggle on that end but I just think they're in a state of limbo right now the only good news is is all 300 D1 teams are in baseball are kind of in the same boat that he's in right now so it's going to pan out it's going to be a confusing time like I said there's a lot of questions that are going to be asked answered I'm sure in the next couple of months for your go nation I'm Chesa Boucher